Hello, all. My name is uh, Kevin Polstoit. Um, I'm a member of the Thought Team, um, and I am. Uh, I've been working on a new security indicator uh, for package scoring using a Python library called Bandit. Uh, what it does is it decomposes Python code uh, into an abstract syntax tree, um, and then it does stack an analysis based on a bunch of rules that people set in the repository or you can make your own um, so basically what i've done is i've used these results to come up with a score uh, that will uh, give us some indication of the security of the package um, i have a small demo um, not letting me share my uh, terminal can I not share my terminal <laughs> let me try something else um, so if you have your terminal in VS code you're gonna share it if, if it's just the gnome terminal you cannot share it I I don't know uh, it feels to me like a blue jeans bug is is that all black yes Yeah, I was not sharing it in VS Code, but I can. Can you share like whole screen? Uh, no, it it's black when I share my whole screen. Um, let's share VS Code then. Um, see if I can get it running in there. Um, yeah, this should this should work fine. Um, can you see my screen now? Yes. yes. All right. Um, so if we uh, run it on click uh, version 6.7, um, we should see some results. I've been having issues with uh, PIP lately. Um, with downloading, so this is just this is just doing pip download, which should not take this long. Um, I'm not not really sure why it has been slow lately, but uh, I had a I had a an example loaded up on my terminal. That way, I wouldn't actually have to download everything. Um, so I guess now we just have to wait. Um, I, in the meantime, I can kind of go through what it's doing. Um, so if we look through the code, uh, basically the first thing it does is it'll go and download the package name and the specific package version um, and download those into a temp directory. Um, and then it will run Bandit on the directory, which basically goes through each file in the directory uh, and runs those uh, static security tests. Um, and then in a couple seconds, we actually should see the output of Bandit, uh, which is a score uh, for each repository. Um, you see, uh, like each each um, each repository has a certain number of security uh, indicators. Like here, we see this one. There's two high, uh, low severity uh, security issues and high confidence. Um, and then basically what we do is we, we right now wait. What I do is I wait both of those. Um, so low confidence weight is 0.25, medium confidence weight is 0.5, and high confidence is one, and then weight each of the uh, severities. Uh, and then basically just compile those into a score uh, and then add it, add them all up uh, for each, uh, each um, file. Um, so down at the bottom, we can see that the score of this uh, package is 496. Uh, and in this case, a higher score uh, would be worse because it means that you have more security issues. Um, and then we also have this totals, which is uh, not used um, because you lose some of the information um, if you just use totals. Uh, if anyone has any questions, um, I can answer them. Yeah, sorry, I didn't understand what is the uh, totals. 
why we don't consider it? Uh, so totals, basically totals the number of high confidence issues uh, and all of that in each of the files. So what I did instead um, was I figured uh, it's it's best to kind of, it, we want to, so we, we don't know exactly the confidence of each security issue, but if we go on a file by file basis, um, we can apply more weight um, in the correct places. So if there's a file that has a, 100 issues, but they're all low confidence, um, we don't want to uh it would and we waited till totals to do it all it would have a higher uh weight than it should because uh let's say we had like 100 uh high confidence and 100 low confidence um and we just had the two files uh, and waited until totals um then basically you'd only average out the confidence uh for every single uh severity for every single file Does that make sense? More or less. But, uh, but why we, we have that the single number at the end is the severity for, sorry, the security indicator for this package. Yeah, so, so basically for each file, um, I get the total priority rated um, and then the confidence in that file. Um, and then, uh, multiply that priority times the confidence of that file. Did you try to run uh, another package? Uh, yeah, it might take a little while. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know what package uh, we can run. Yep. Um, I don't know how long this will take. Um, So, so the one issue with this is that uh, larger packages will have a higher score. Um, so it might be nice to normalize on that somehow. Because um, right now, if, if you ran something like um, TensorFlow, I can guarantee this score would be uh, very, very high compared to some small package that might have a lot of security flaw flaws based on its, like, forward size. Um, yeah, it totally makes sense. Yeah, so if we somehow work in um, number of files in there, um, we should be able to make the score uh, mean a little bit more, hopefully. Um, okay, yeah. thank you. Nice. Cool, thanks. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Thanks, Kevin.